TLO, what's pop? We are uh, on Twitch. We uh, are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it. Everybody, please, warning. This is a warning. Things might happen here. But nothing out of the ordinary for YouTube community guidelines and things of that nature. Uh, Twitch.com, bottom of the screen is the username. Lock in. Uh, don't forget, we do got Patreon and we got merch. This is Police Interceptors. Hopefully, this one is from 2024. I don't know, though. Probably not. I don't even think they filmed this year yet. So, talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. Four four shows on route. Jasper, come on, sir. Don't no, miss a no. beat. It's not the, the clock. I'm here. And Sergeant Sophie is late for a date with a runaway driver. Already. AD gets his toe down to join a pursuit in Wakefield. I follow Sophie on social media. I follow Sophie on Instagram. She ain't following me back. That's tough. Salute to Jasper for the gifted two subs. That's that's tough. Salute, Jasper. I ain't never seen, did I ever see Jasper do something like that? Jasper, you acting up. <laughs> the um, lady unit just behind uh, a vehicle that's failing to stop. We'll head in towards that area to assist with uh, basically the tactical phase of uh, hopefully bringing it to a safe conclusion. Eight miles away, the runaways already snagged a pack of pursuing interceptors. The black on the Civic. Can possibly with no lights on uh, tried to flash him to put them on and he took off. We found the road. You see what I'm talking about? These dumb criminals one on one. All the officer did was trying to tell you Ch -ch -ch, your lights are off, turn them on. Salute to Jasper for another two gifted. That's four. In a way from Wakefield. AD and the Sarge had your plan. Well, let's go over the bridge and go right on Barnsley Road. That'll take us down towards... Uh, Chevet Lane. Yeah, somewhere down that way. They need to get into position with a stinger to take the wind out of his sails before someone's hurt. Mirror, signal, maneuver. He's read the... That's seven, that's seven gifted sails from Jasper, right? Or, or five. Highway code. I'm taking a left off Barnsley Road to the... Uh, but also the big book of bad boy driving. Chapter one, take them onto rural roads. Chapter two, bully past oncoming cars. What's really surprising me is that's a two way road and not a one way. And chapter four, crossroads. What crossroads? He's going like a bat out of hell in pitch black. Which makes his next move the dimmest of all. Lights out and high risk. This driver is trying everything to shake off interceptors on the ground. But with a bird's eye view from a thousand feet. Yeah. If you cooked anyway, you you driving so dangerous they caught the chopper out. It's over. They're both now from Becky Todd. Three words. Yeah, we're just going on safe now. There's no escape from the eye in the sky. Oh, Jasper again. Jasper, what's up with you today? Salute. This bright spark is now on borrowed time. Fucking like a right, right, right. 
We're turning right, 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 Chibbit Lane, back towards Wakefield and Barnley Road. Well, we just going in circles. The plan worked. The driver is hurtling towards Aidy and Sophie head on. Just coming around the corner towards Shaylane like Cross Road, speed 5 0 miles an hour. 4-4 with Chevrolet Lane jump from Barnes Road with a single sight. It's a race to lay the spikes before the target gets past them. So we're continuing down Chevrolet Lane yeah, towards Barnsley Road. Speed is 7 miles per hour in a 36. The high-tailing Honda is careering towards them at over double the speed limit. Come on, so oh, this dude's putting it out. Is it a black golf? Yeah, 4-4, you're coming towards it. Just say what vehicle it is again. The Let's go. Yeah, we've got a thing inside. The trap is set. That's 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 evil work. This uh ad, this little cutscene. Well, double up on us. In Wakefield, a lights out Honda. Is oh no, we don't need her. Other guy. Brown on the road. Three, two, one. Confirm Shout out Jasper done. for the gifted again. Bang, direct hit. Both front tires are punctured. And again. Vehicle strong, and we're going right, right, right. How come when they put a uh, a stinger out, they don't get both cars? I mean, not all four wheels. Like, if you can can get the first two wheels, what ha like the stinger jumps up or something and loses functionality? Uh, wrong side of the carriageway. Right, let's get my kick car. Down we are, out on money. Yeah, yeah, decamp, decamp. That's good. That's stinger. Perfect. Where's it gone round there? Right. Up there. It must have been on it, must have carried on up here. Must have done. The chopper can only chase one person. Somebody's getting away. The fleet footed driver scales a high fence and legs it into school playing fields. But the passenger isn't quite as nimble. <laughs> Sophie and Aidy are quick to join the chase. Come here. Oh, that beautiful. Passenger looked like he just got finished eating the kebab. Well, you're not getting away. As the driver reaches the trees, His flat-footed mate is nicked. Going away from here, away from Barbara Road. Can't be on your back now. Yes, he's in the corner of this compound. We've got him. I'm not even going to lie to you. If I was a driver, if I was a passenger, I'm not running. Hey, listen, I don't know what was going on. Just get me a lawyer. I'll speak to my lawyer and he'll relay it to you. Hey, that's it. That's it. That's all. You know what I'm saying? I tell my lawyer, like, hey, look, tell him I was just getting a ride. One down, I don't know one to go. But catching him won't be so simple. The second now, can have the six foot fence in front of me. The driver has gone to ground. Three one there, uh, yep, we uh, we followed that one up, we lost him on the trees. Perfect, don't move. How do we get over this fence? Get up. Can you get over? No, no. Because it spikes up top. Can, can, dog, can, can dog get over, no? Hey, Sophie, you gonna send the dog? The spiky fence is too high for the police dog, but Thai boxing champion Sophie, known in the ring as Big Dog, isn't going to let a six foot fence defeat her. Be careful, sir. Gee, Lisa, I'm sorry. Lisa, y'all see what I'm talking about now, though. Lisa would never. 
I'm telling you. Oh. Just watch out for them on your face. Wait a Hold on, you got it. Got it. Which way has he gone? It's gone straight on. Lisa would have, well, abort mission. <laughs> Delicately navigating a less spiky gate, it's time for hide and seek in the schoolyard. That officer who's just made over the fence, keep going along uh, the fence line, keep going. Big dogs on the hunt. Keep going right then. So yeah, keep going that way. The trees and that sort of shrubbery is where we've lost him. We can't see into those trees, so he's around that area somewhere. Lost him in those trees. There. Where? They've spotted him. Stay there, fella. All right, put your on your back. And we'll get the dog out. Dig is up. Oh, I'll on your back as well. Perfect. After he was caught, he gave up pretty quick, though. Four, four, we've got him. The dangerous driver, nicked in a playground, is just 16 years old. Oh, yeah, he good. Soon the rest. It don't even matter. <laughs> you finna get out. Should still theft the motor vehicle. I'm feeling stuff at this time, all right? Pray in the bag. The next challenge is to get him back night, over the railings. We need some officers to come and assist us getting him over the fence. Oh, man, that's a... Good night, parting gift, man. Say, hey, Jasper's out of here for the night, man. Salute to the last gifted sub. Banged up for a stretch behind bars, there's time to reflect on 80s A Star Sting. You know, I think the Sting was perfect. Absolutely bang on. They don't do a badge anymore, I won't get another badge. I think we'll get you a badge for that. I want a badge for yeah, that. Yeah, I think you need a badge for that. That would. Uh, no, I'll have a Chubba Chups lolly, but it has to be Coca Cola flavour. Coca, -Cola, Coca Cola flavour, Chubba Chups lolly. Huh? Just uh, stand back for us because there's a bit of pressure with it. They can't get hold of the keys, but interceptor hardware opens many doors. And school's out, kids. Beautiful. Thank you very much. I just replaced the lock. The teenage runaways will be treated to a sleepover in the cells. Before they head back to the Nick, there's just enough time for Aidy to admire his handiwork. Very happy. We've rocked up, managed to sting both front wheels. As you can see, they're both completely deflated. As a result, it's brought the pursuit to a conclusion less than half a kilometre from where we stung it. So very happy with that. I'm going to go have a nice coffee now to celebrate. Like it. The teenage joyrider was convicted of stealing the car and dangerous driving. What do you get? He was banned from the roads for a year and referred to the youth offending team for 12 months. No further action was taken against his slow coach passenger. See you later. Hey, salute for Jasper for gifting a Brindy a, a sub. Well deserved, too. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Sergeant looking at it. Coca Cola flavored lollipop? Like, what kind of taste buds is those? That's disgusting. It's gonna got me a Chubba Chups lolly. Mm. As requested. Wait, a chocolate chip lolly is even worse. I don't look out like Kojak Vista. Oh, what an interceptor doesn't know about cars isn't worth knowing. Oh, you got slow. You are going fast over there, aren't you, lad? Those plates don't exist. You think the plates don't exist? And when something doesn't ring true, because the number plates that are on it are not the true identity of the car. That's not my problem. Right. They're masters of weeding out lies. Please don't treat it like morons. No, that's what you said. So no, I, I, didn't ask, I said, I what's your name? your name is. Do you have a license, Cassie? No, I don't. Right. <laughs> that's what I was getting at. Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> An undercover unit from the Proactive Intercept Team, or PIT Team for short, are lying low in Bradford and they've clocked an apparently dodgy driver through their rear window. Time to have a word. The suspect Audi winds through the back streets. Where, what town is this here? Where is this? Then floors it. The pit team hunt in packs. 
done by like, uh, an Audi A5. Midwater Road, Bradford. And Steph and Harry are only a few streets away. Towards North Lynch Road. Towards where? So this is another reason why I couldn't be a cop, because I wouldn't trust nobody driving that fast. I'd have to be a driver. I would, I, there ain't no way I would get in the car and he would get in the driver's seat and I'd be like, yo, I trust you. Ain't no way. Uh-uh. North, North Cliff Road. With the lead car on its tail, the reckless driver hammers through narrow streets while kids play at the roadside. Where are we? Bradford, oh, But okay. he's got himself into a tight spot. The route ahead is blocked by an ambulance. We're in the back alley now, it's got diversion lights on. May look to uh, ram us, stand by. Thinking better of a reverse ram, but he eventually takes his chances on foot. Two, two, we've got runners. Harry and Steph are nearby. Where are you, mate? Where are you? I don't know where they are. They need to find the runner fast. Two, two, so here's your railway, the baseball cap. Your colleagues chasing on foot. I don't know where they are. I've got secured. Back there, mate. Can have some more GPS built into the cop's radio and a healthy dose of local knowledge works a treat. So look for the fire. Calls to the team. We're coming to you, mate. Bro, decamped and got away? Like, why is it taking so long? Normally the decamp from decamp to catch is normally done by now. Where are we going, mate? Go right, go right. They're closing in. Left, left. Look at this thirst bucket. T3 on there, mate. 334, I'm with him. Oh, they caught him, okay. Put your head first down now! Get your first down now! I like, okay, you guys are resisting arrest, right? Okay. But when you need to stop resisting is when your pants start falling. I seen a little bit of crack. I seen a little bit of crack, and it, it and I, like when your pants start falling, the jig is up. You can force wiggle, do whatever you want. They got you. You just forcing out of pride and out of you know what I'm saying. Just to, it's done. When you feel that breeze down there, just be like, okay, pull my pants up. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? One runaway driver. Well done. Sorry, I couldn't get off comms. In cuffs. But he seems to have a short memory. You made off in a car. You run away. You look into the scarred things, yeah? Lie on the ground on the side. You stay there. You can't breathe on your side. All that not making off can get you out of breath. Why do you run from car then? Because of my number plate. Hey. You're going to that, okay? There's an old saying, mate. Yeah? Can't outrun the thunder. Yeah, I don't even have a good number plate. Yeah, okay, mate. I can't outrun the thunder. Listen, I didn't see plenty of police in America get outran. <coughs> Especially in Florida. On foot? Florida? Imagine jumping out, seeing a. Imagine jumping out your police car with all intentions to chase somebody, and they got on a high school football jersey, and they got dreads, and they got on flip flops with no socks. They taking off the flip flops, and I'm talking about they're running a four-two flat forty-yard that you're not catching no Florida team. You're not doing It's just impossible. It's summer all year round. All they do is run. It's you're done. Which one? There's a mixed bag of number plates in his car. Harry and the team take the driver. Petrolhead Steph gives the iffy Audi the once over. And something doesn't add up. They try. I've to check another here as well. No, they have a build sticker, don't they? 
There you go, mate. What? We're looking for. That's a different one. That's a different one. Mm. When cars leave the factory, they're issued with a build sticker which shows the motor's unique VIN number. The VIN number Steph's found in the boot doesn't match the ones in the window or engine bay, so Steph asks Control to run a check. The crowds are gathering. I'm talking about he ran because of his number plate. Nobody, you ran because this is a, a Stolo. And the results are in. We've checked that out and we've uh, discovered that this vehicle is an outstanding stolen vehicle. You've got to know your cars and where to locate other VIN numbers. So, all in all, for us, a good result because we've got one male detained after a short foot chase as well. <coughs> right, cool. Who's driving it? Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Good job. He could get around that, though. He could just say, like, somebody sold it to him or, uh, you know what I'm saying? You can see how busy it is. All the talk about young kids. No regard for safety members of public. It's disgusting, really. There's no injuries to anyone, so it's a good job. He's on his way to custody now, well be interviewed. Unable to outrun the thunder. Get your first arm now! Get your first arm now! The runaway driver has been charged with driving without due care and attention and no insurance. He was not implicated in the theft of the car, so faced no legal action. Coming up. Do it properly, you're not I'm doing it, you're not. What are you all about? Hey. Oh. Get camera on. Interceptors like Chris Harding and Chris Basto are well versed in the perils of pursuit. 6 1 chase home for down towards South Farm Road. They've been a crime fighting duo. Slowly walk towards me. I'm behind you. Oh yeah, he all beat up. Look at dude. For the last five years. You've been covered in blood. You've got to trust your driver, haven't you? Yeah, and have confidence in your car. These cars are designed and will do 150 and more without any issues. So you just need to have confidence in that. Treat car with respect and you'll be fine. Today, it's Basto in the saddle of their trusty steed, the BMW 330. But that's not the only fast beamer. <laughs> he know he needs to get in the X5, my boy. You in a 330, this, you know what? Respect. Steed, the BMW 330. But that's not the only fast beamer on the streets of Seacroft. A driver in a high performance beamer. What? Nearly been right in front of has clocked the boys and booted it. Hey, it's going. About the car going here in Seacroft. Hold on to your hats. Clear, clear, go. X-ray, you don't me on far one. We've got a BMW 3 series balance stop. Speed is approximately 90 miles per hour. This driver clearly has something to hide playing so fast bro don't even got enough space comfortably to put his hand up like yeah we got he got a <laughs> come on now. that's that's funny but i was gonna say it's not funny but it's just funny it's all together funny the chris is a left me. chasing shadows yes yes it's a left 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 onto old york road we're just uh two red lights near to tesco's Chris's training gives him the edge and he quickly closes the gap on the runaway. Still safe to continue, speed 7 0, North Parkway towards Kempion Avenue. The dicey driver has a close call. Undertaking at 70 miles an hour. Nose so clear roundabout, junction with Brooklyn's Avenue, straight over. Then ploughing headlong into a roundabout. Continuating towards South Parkway. He's a fag paper away from a side on smash. Ooh -wee. But the near miss hasn't slowed him down. Chris is pushing the 330 to the limit. 
Collision at that speed would have been catastrophic. A life-threatening game of chance on the wrong way roulette wheel. Oh, well, it's wrong way round, roundabout. And then he makes for the narrow back streets. Keep calm, deep breath, and trust your spidey sense, Chris. Four six is some right, right round to Pigeon Coat Road. Speed is five zero. It's gone the wrong way down North Parkway. Man, the road's driving. blocked. Time to think fast. Quick. Fancy footwork and local knowledge are the order of the day. And if we go in towards Foggett Hill Drive. This is the wrong way though. It's left. Which, which way? Which way? Is that it? It says left. Despite a little help from the public. Is it this way? The reckless driver goes to ground. They keep up the hunt for the stolen car. But this game of Beamer versus Beamer has taken its toll. God, this car stinks. That is a mixture of clutch, clutch, brake, tyres, sweat. Yeah, just a bit of everything. Clutch, big tires, sweat. I know it smells like pork grinds in there. Pork, it smells like your local pub after a Saturday night. Really? We've had to these two? Extremely hard. They talking about sweating. What are you sweating from? You driving? To keep up with him. It was either it was a two series, one three five i or one forty i, which are three liters of petrol twin turbos. They're extremely quick cars, so the trail might have gone cold. But the same can't be said for their car. The brakes are smoking. <laughs> Bro, they burnt the car out, Chenick. We'll pop it in for a safety check, I think. Before they head back, they go for one last look around the neighborhood. Could he have gone in here? I think he's gone straight back. The high-speed pursuit is the talk of the town. Yeah, yeah, we're just looking for the car, that's all. I'm sorry, I told you. No, it's no, not at all. You want a cup of tea or a beer, innit? Oh, I'd go for the second one while I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Uh, we know you want that caloric intake. Hey, Mark. Uh, My fault. I'm big, too. I like, I walk. just... Right. You know what? It'd be a good result just to get the car. Yeah, And as if by magic, there is what's that? The BMW appears. That's it. Imagine taking the cops on a legendary car chase and not having a garage to park your car inside and parking on a street like that. <laughs> yeah, this pursuit, um, we found vehicle. Can I check chassis with you? High-powered cars like this are often stolen and used by organised crime gangs. And surprise, surprise. Yeah, I've got these one showing outstanding stolen from last year, actually. Uh, oh, well, I mean, yeah, it was a stolo. You did your job. Uh, from Ditch the car and we'll get up out of there. It's going to get recovered and it's been outstanding stolen for nearly a year. So I think it's a good result all in all. A search of the stolen speed wagon turns up classic car thief booty. Are they original plates? plates. No. 65? No. no. A set of dodgy plates. Any more, Chris? Oh, hang on. What are these ones? Got multiple sets. Are they original ones? No. No. It's a good result, isn't it? It is a good result, yeah. And it's another stolen car off-road, so I'm happy. It's another car they're using quite clearly to either commit crime or deal drugs. So we're taking car off them, and it's a fast car, so the one car down. We'll have to get a micro. Uh, definitely got up on you. This car put the this this car just put y'all through the works. <laughs> car off them, and it's a fast car, so the one car down. 
we'll have to get a micro or something next. Yeah. Y'all lost the battle, but y'all won the war. Nick's motor was recovered and handed back to the insurance company. The hunt for the driver is still ongoing. Over 79,000 motorists in the UK were caught driving without insurance last year. Finding the right policy can be a tricky business and it always pays to read the small print. Bringing a little night music to Fagley, whistling Warren Pickard. Wait, what's the name of the town? Bringing a little night music to Fagley, whist. I'm not even gonna repeat that because y'all gonna clip it and then I'm gonna be canceled. It be see what I'm saying? Like it's not even cool. Like who is even? Thing Warren Pickard is behind the wheel. It's crazy. Alongside captive audience Aidan Cullen. Oh. This. Oh, yeah, no insurance. Has he got no insurance? Mm. Warren tunefully lights them up. We know it's got no insurance link on PNC. Was as musical talents know no limits. Here he comes up. Nice Here he comes. Here he comes. Hey, Are you doing all right? I'm good, yeah. My uncle's had to lend me his car. Okay, and this is his car. Bro's guilty. <laughs> Whenever you get pulled over and they jump out the car first, at least in the UK, it's guilty. Yeah, this is his car. This is oh, his license. Handing over his driver's license, the lad tells Warren he's on his way to work, but hasn't had much luck recently. My car got uh, stolen in white, and it ran a crash, so it's in an impound at the moment. I've got to go collect it today. So my uncle said I can borrow his car to get to work. OK. Which, um, I'm fully come. But not only has his car... Sound believable. ...car been nicked, he may not be insured to drive this one. And I'm sure that that would be the case. However, the third party entitlement will only cover you if that car's insured. And the reason we stopped you is that's showing no insurance. Oh, my, well, my uncle's told me that that is insured. So he got like a SR22 type situation where wherever, whatever car he's in is insured. Whatever car he's inside Whatever car he drives, he is insured as long as the car is insured. His name. Whether his uncle's insured the car or not, Aidan's found a problem in the driver's policy. Your insurance policy says allowed to drive other vehicles. No. no. So you're not insured anyway? Not, not every insurance policy will cover you just because you're fully come. It's, a, it's a, an old school myth almost. He's fully comp, but not fully insured to drive this motor. So the car from Uncle will be seized. And they say bad things happen in threes. It's terrible luck. Well, I hear birds chirping this early. Ah, oh, shoot. Why is that gone? Oh, no. Big gust what of wind it? then. Oh, no. Oh, what that, happened? That's why you need to get in car, usually. See if I can find it. Um, what was it? His driver's license just blown off. Is <laughs> that it there? Pop the hood. Can't no. see up. How the hell do we get in that? Oh, it... To add insult to injury, from nowhere, a big gust of wind has blown through a window. It's picked up his driver's license and shoved it down the windscreen at, on the dashboard. How unlucky is that? Oh, no. That's terrible. Y'all could do that man some type of break for that. That's why I don't like nature like that. I, I'm thinking that you have to take the, the windscreen out to get to it. Brilliant. Sods on that. It's a first, and they don't have the first clue what to do about it. 
and I need that picture ID to get my car out. The X5 has eaten his license. Ken, I feel sorry for that. It's shit. I mean, he's devastated his lad. Bro's having the worst time of his life. He seems a nice kid as well. As recovery arrived to seize uncle's uninsured car, recovery at least. Wazza's got a plan for the nephew to retrieve his from the pound. Morning. We've got a bit of a situation. A bit of a situation. This lad's coming at your compound today to get a car. We've lost his driver's license. Can you take a photograph of that young man? What's up it to Ben? They can look at four go, yeah, same guy, full ID, we're happy. Cops, us are confirming he is who he's telling you he, he is. After sending a photo to the recovery yard. That's gonna work. Cool. Right. I swear the cops in Chicago would have been like, oh well, figure it out. <laughs> That's done. With an yeah. interceptor's seal of approval. We got key Aiden. Have we lost that as well? Come on, mate, jump in. They offer to give the stranded driver a lift. What if the ID drop out? You thought you were insured and then tried to insult to injuries, but the cops lose your license. The moral of this story always read the small print. The unlucky lad was fined £300 for driving without insurance and got six points on his license. Jeez. Which was eventually rescued from the belly of the Beamer by a dab hand mechanic. It's a hell, it? See ya. That's a one in a million chance that yeah, I couldn't it, do it, it. I, I couldn't do that again if I'd have tried. You know how hard it is for me to find police interceptor episodes that we haven't watched? Like, before I got on stream, I was genuinely searching. <laughs> Generally, most members of the public are absolutely fine with us. In fact, they quite like having us around. Uh, but that, people Sophie? tend to go on the wrong, wrong side of the law. Um, yeah, they, they, they don't really like us, do they? Some are like little kids. It's like when you tell them no. I'm on the right side of the law, and I still, you know what I'm saying? I still don't have that type of fondness, you know? Oh, well, they don't get their own way. It's like to stamp the feet, shout and ball a little bit, especially when they've got the mates about. Local. Responding to a job on the hurry up are interceptors Shane Kenny and Sam Lister. They're en route to help another cop in Leeds who stopped a car that was being driven erratically. Some of the passengers have run off, but the driver has been collared. No sooner have they arrived on scene. He ran, he ran right past y'all. Someone else does a runner. Sam's out of the car at lightning speed. If he would have caught him, I would have genuinely been surprised. Please. My mom got blown out. There's no time to worry about the ones that got yeah. We're about to see if Shane's all right. Fellow interceptor Gab's got the driver by the dungarees. That's what y'all call those overalls? They're called dungarees? And suspects he's been drinking. Oh, wait a minute. Are those shorts? What is go? Hey, that's evil work. Take a deep breath and blow. Suspects he's been drinking. I didn't better not be short. Take a deep breath and blow. Seal your lips, please, first. Nice and steady. Do it properly. You're not I'm doing no, it. You're not. What are you all about? You're not blowing properly. Yeah, yeah. The driver's not playing ball. Right, you're under arrest, Mr. Bush. Drive him whilst I'm fit. No, okay, no, yes, no, you no, no. yes, you are. Come on, yes, you are. Trust me, you are. No, what are you all about? Get in. Fella, get in. I'm getting get in, in, man. Get in. Get in the car then. Whatever. Don't try and kick me. Don't try and kick me. 
No cap, but he looks strong. Anybody that wear ovaries or dungarees that are shorts instead of pants, you gotta be careful. It's not just the suspect playing up. Injury clear, rip glass. This gives a bit of space, would you please, pal? Boy. Rip glass. He talking about injury claim, rip glass. This gives a bit. Look at the look at the state of his nose. Space, would you please, pal? Oh my! That boy looked like he about to hop on a, the meanest broomstick. Look at he got a wicked witch of the west nostril. Look at this. Is it broke? My days. I know he can't smell nothing. While street performers trot out, frankly, weak material, Gav goes back to the breathalyzer. You can never make fun of me if your noses look like that, because I'm on you for life. I'm funny. I'm naturally funny, so you would you'd be you'd, if the, the first time a joke come out your mouth, and so on. <laughs> we go joke. Oh, we joking for sure. I got you. Nice and steady. The legal limit is 35. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stop, there we go. Thank you, well done. He's blown 43. Right, you're under oh, you're good. By the time you get back to the precinct, you're going to blow under 40, and they're not even going to bother you after that. Pushing and driving a motor vehicle whilst over the prescribed limit. There we go, we've just changed it from unfit to... Gav's already found a small bag of tablets in the driver's door, but the car is otherwise clean. But whatever we're in there is going off down street now. The driver may have more than booze in his blood, so Gav does a drugs wipe. You're getting a drugs wipe too? You can your tongue out. Stick your tongue out, please. You're not sticking it out. Oh, you, see, stick your tongue out. No, you're failing to cooperate with a drug. No, stick your tongue out. No, leave it out. Yeah. When blessed with a little saliva, there we go. The wipe I'm not gonna lie, that drug test is demoralizing. I, I, I understand, my boy. X cocaine or cannabis in eight minutes. Yeah, he's locked up at the minute. Oh, describe the limit. Possession of drugs. And um, by the time they'll get him to the precinct, that over the prescribed limit is out the door. He's not. He'll, he'll probably blow like a 37, 38, 39, but under 40, y'all y'all don't even bother. Soon to be. It's kind of like drug driving with looks as well. It's a full house. The roadside test indicates he's positive for cocaine and cannabis. All right. Can't escape that, so. Mm -mm. Them really is shorts. That's crazy. Drink and drug driving. Right, you're under arrest with. Now back at custody. Gab's taking a closer look at the evidence. Inside his driver's door has been a, a little bag containing six pink tablets. Um, I believe they're possibly... Ooh, yeah, that's my... I mean, I actually made comments like the Viagra, but he able to get sent off for testing as well. All right, we come. All drivers who test positive for drink or drugs at the roadside are given a second evidential test at custody. You know what? That, the, okay, so uh, originally... At the roadside... I thought these were shorter than this. Like I thought they was up here for some reason, but they not bad. They they decent, but the shirt is weak. The shoe selection is weak. Could have did so much better. You should have given a lot of different evidential test at custody. With a little bit of cooperation, he'll be tested and tucked up in a cell in no time. Do you agree to provide two specimens of breath? He said he looked like Spaniard. <laughs> a little bit. You want to see that again, mate? I never got that. Have you in the last 20 minutes consumed any alcohol? No, I've been with you, mate. Used any mouth spray? No. Used any mouthwash? No, no, no. Just alcohol, mate. You've got hearing problems. What happened to those dungarees? Drug driving can lead to six months behind bars. Oh, them Pradas? What, um... Test. 
You've heard what I've said. You've understood everything I've said. I'm not going to be messing. You're just buying time, man. You know what's going on here. Yeah. Back anymore. Okay. Are you going to give a blood sample or not? But this oh, child blood. is more concerned about Gav intercepting his courting. All I want to go do is go shag some lasses. Just hopefully the ladies will wait for you. The breathalyzer boy turned up. The machine is on the blink, so blood samples are taken to test for both alcohol and drugs, and the driver is finally shown to his cell. Ooh, you got you later, exit. Chill out, enjoy your own Oh, I would have said I'm allergic to needles. Yeah, y'all can't, y'all don't. You know I've been saying? doing it 12 years now, and I, I'd love for somebody to come along and say something original, but they never do. Um, same old, same old. He's just trying to play it on and drag it out for as long as he can. The only time we'll tell with this blood test, and I've got no doubt it'll be over. Gav wasn't wrong. Blood analysis showed the driver was under the influence of ecstasy and cannabis and the pink pills found in his car were ecstasy. For drug driving and possession of a Class A drug, he was banned from the roads for 22 months and ordered to do 40 hours of unpaid work. No action was taken against him for drink driving. Told you. I knew he was going to get off on that. If he wasn't so lit, he would have been cool. If he wasn't turned up off the pinks, he would have been cool. Would you know? Bro was trying to get overly freaky. In a suburb east of Leeds. He's got a dint. I don't like dints. Interceptors AD and Chris are quietly tailing a white Astra van. The car in front's just caught his eye. It's got a brake light out. It looks a bit of a, a shed, to be polite. It's not well looked after. So we're just going to stop it, have a look at it, do relevant checks and see where we come. Fine. That's nasty work, man, that they can pull you over for your car being raggedy. First of all, if you pulling me over and my car is raggedy, I know my car is raggedy. I live with this every day. But I got to make a living. You know what I'm saying? You really insulting me right now. I'm trying. Man, shit. I'm broke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's clearly seen better days. He won't be out running them. In fact... Oh, perfect. He's helped yeah, and stopped his shed at the side of the road. Hades seen his fair share of dodgy vans. How we doing all right? Is it your motor? But at nearly 80 years old, this veteran roofer isn't your average white van man. Can you manage? We're going to struggle with them ladders if we can't get out of the car. <coughs> Are you a roofer or something? Yeah. Roofing at 80? Hey, that's fun. We're going to struggle getting up them ladders. No, Just jump in here and then we're not going to get hit by any cars. It'll be raining by the time you get up there. Just jump in. Leave him alone. Hades was once a hotshot mechanic for Harley Davidson. And the dicky taillight really grinds his gears. When you look at this car, we've stopped it because you've got a brake light out. I don't know. Yeah, and then obviously there's that bit hanging off at back. You said it's your mate's motor, yeah? Yeah, I rented 15 quid in here. Ah, rent right. it. When you say you rent it from him, did he tell you that you're insured? Yeah, he said it's insured and his driver. Mm, it's... No. I know that. It's a story the interceptors hear all too often. Come on now, he 80 though. The insurance that we can see <coughs> would not cover you to drive it because it doesn't cover it if it's rented. And what about my insurance on my car? I'm insured to drive any on the vehicle with those people's permission. What's with your car? Uh... Yeah. The elderly driver insists his own personal policy will cover him to drive his mate's van. It's, uh, if it's a 54. PY Summit. Summit, yeah. He can't remember the reg, so in his hour of need, he turns to his wife for support. Hello, right. Please car in second van. But I need to know, can you go out and look at her car number? The car, registration number at car. This will take some explaining. I'm sat in a police car with two gentlemen and they, uh, they want, uh, you know, our insurance covers me to drive other people's motor. Anyway, just go get the number at the uh, car, please, will you? How long have you been married? Been married 65. 
There are many C. Jesus Christ. 65 and you're 80? You've been married since he was 15? Chris to a long and happy marriage. Well, that's... She'll be worrying now, won't she? Communication, commitment, and most of all, honesty. Say that again. The roofer's wife has had another look at the documents, and he seems to have got his wires crossed. He's only a named driver on her insurance policy. Yeah, I know, but... It's not the news he was hoping for. Hades got the job of explaining the finer details. So, yes, you're a named driver. As a named driver, you don't have third-party entitlement to drive other vehicles, only the policy holds. So, unfortunately, I have to agree with your last. It sounds like an honest mistake, but unfortunately, the law's the law. And by the sounds of it, this guy's completely fed you wrong information, but unfortunately, as you as the driver, you, it's your responsibility. Skates, can uh, we arrange recovery for a vehicle? Please, no insurance details in ready. The van is being seized, and the mate who hired it to him will have to collect it from the pound. So, just have a good chat with him. Honestly, it's due for the mate that hired it to him. You gave him wrong info. It it, it's it unfortunate it's you who's going to get the points. But since he's now free to go, the dedicated roofer decides to crack on with his shift. Get your lads down from up, up on roof to get on the move, it's the fact that you'll be lugging out heavy out of there. Hey, up, you all right? Yeah. The world think he the man all of a sudden because he got a bunch of old elderly women giggling. Mm. I didn't expect that. I think, I think he generally thought he were covered. I feel sorry for him. Me but too, then, don't uh, we all? That's life. We all have to pay insurance. Um, um, he's 80, I understand. He knows that that's life. Respect your elders, bro. Um, age is not a defence. Driving without insurance earned him eight points and a fine. That will be the least of his worries once he's back under his own roof. His wife didn't sound too pleased up phone, did she? Sure, if you're sure. Eight points is insane. I'm just now starting to, you know what I'm saying, understand the point system out there. Knew, she knew answer. That's crazy. New woman, she knows answer, don't she? Ooh. Never wrong. Never wrong. I don't know what this is. This is evil work. Uh, <laughs> TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. I'm gone.